Here we go. Welcome to today's well, matchup okay. where we have a couple of uh, beginner to intermediate players in the blue sweatshirt. We have Garrett Tracy, the one we call Thing 2, shooting the red buttons. And opposite him in the black hoodie, we have Mackenzie Baker. You'll probably recognize him as our tech guy. Mac opens up with a near miss on the open 20. Here goes Garrett for a takeout inside the house. That was a great yeah, shot. I'm not sure if that was intentional, but Garrett got a beautiful rollout, not leaving McKenzie with anything to shoot at in terms of uh, going for a 20. Now, McKenzie going for the takeout. I'm not sure if he's trying to roll in here. Ah, tough one. Catches a peg. Now, Garrett's got a long hit and stick shot here, but if he can be successful, then he'll have two discs on. He's got himself in pretty good shape early in this match. Now, what I'd love to see McKenzie do is go for a double takeout and even the playing field here, but uh, we'll see what he does. Fantastic. That was a great roll in. A little more weight on that shot. He may even have dropped a 20, and but uh, Garrett is still in a great position because after... There you go. Successful takeout. He's back to having two on. And now McKenzie has a choice. Does he go for that one in the, on the 10-15 line? That is going to be tough to hit. Uh, his other option would be to go after that one out in the five. But not one to shy away from a challenge. Here he goes going after that tough shot. So, I don't know how long. Oh, yeah. It's been a while. Because Royce was on M's first album. He was on some Ooh, that was a tough miss. I know they did. Was he on Mackenzie the first may be distracted by their conversation the about who is the uh, the best rapper of all time. I don't know so about these. Uh, <laughs> I don't know about so these amateurs having a conversation while they're. Oh, there we go. Garrett drops an open twenty, so he's got two on and a twenty, so he's definitely very much in control of this round. Let's see. Uh, the great thing about about missing a shot and having your opponent drop a twenty is you're back to take a, a second shot that uh, at what you just missed. So. Oh, no, now McKenzie's going to move over and take it from the outside. That's interesting. He clearly watched our video about the peel, so he's forcing Garrett to play. Oh, he forced an error out of Garrett. He pulls a super Steve, blows all the way through the house. McKenzie again peels. You may want to watch our video about the peel as to why he would do that. Ah, but it bit him this time. Garrett drops another 20. He's up two 20s at this point. McKenzie again barely missing. Ah, tough one. See, sometimes as beginner players, the uh, that peel. Okay, here we go. So Garrett's got uh, Garrett's got two twenties as well as an additional thirty points on the board. So they are playing the NCA scoring. So that that's uh, two points per round. And uh, so Garrett is up two to zero in this match. We'll uh, post a, a link in our description of this video below, and we'll put up uh, the link to our blog post where ex we explain the two different scoring styles, as uh, so you can choose which one is right for you. But these guys today are playing the NCA scoring as we enter into round two, which should be yeah Garrett should be starting this round. Here we go. Yeah, Eminem signed him. For his first nice open offer. 20 to start. Okay. And maybe his second album was also the same scope. And then yeah. McKenzie pulled. Oh, okay. It was a tough one. Garrett would have been really well served to keep a shooter on there because now McKenzie's got an open board again. Ah, tough one. That barely lives. It is touching that 10 15 line, so it is a valid shot. We'll stay on the board. And. Uh, this can be trouble for Garrett because when you try to drive that through the house, sometimes you'll catch pegs and accidentally do something very positive for your opponent. So, ah, he hammered that, got rid of both of them, giving McKenzie more practice at his open 20s here. Another tough miss. Like See, last, with just a little bit of practice, I think McKenzie would be really dialed in on those open 20s. He's got his weight very good on a lot of those. Yeah, Garrett keeps his shooter on, so now we've uh, changed things. Now, if McKenzie would just go a little bit wider there, he might have an angle into the house. But we'll see how this, we'll see how this ends up for him.
not too bad. And it should be a fairly easy takeout for Garrett. And Garrett is up. Oh, Garrett did not keep his shooter on. So tough one. That angle was just a little bit off. One thing about Garrett, he shoots quick. When he decides to line up, that that disc is moving. So. Uh, I think he'd be okay. well served to take his time just a little bit more. Oh, he did him dirty. Left McKenzie with one tough shot, having to go through Hogan's alley or drop over to the. Yeah, that's probably his better angle there, dropping over to this side. Ooh, still a very tough shot to go all the way through, and he uh, he nailed it. Good for him. There's Garrett, maybe trying the Conrad shot. I'm not sure. He dropped off to one side. And uh, yeah, I don't feel like he was going for a 20 on that. Okay. Uh, Blink 182, I'm sure you. Yeah, 182, yeah. Oh, nice uh, angle in 20. Too little, too late, though, is that uh, that leaves them even in the. They each had 120, but Garrett was left with one on the board, which uh, gives him another round, so he's up four to nothing. Now, I would say whether you call these guys beginner players or intermediate, I'm not really sure. Garrett obviously has played a lot. He just hasn't played at the, as many competitive tournaments, but he, he understands the strategy. And Mackenzie's had the benefit of, of uh, being here in the room in our recording studio while we do all these videos about strategy, which I think has given him a little more advantage than, than the average person who's fairly new to the game. But the other thing I'll say is these guys are keeping the board fairly clean. A lot of times you'll see beginner players and the board gets very clean crowded and there's Mackenzie again with just barely missing that 20 lots of pin action there as Garrett ends up now we'll see if Mackenzie tries to hide on his side of the board he does that was pretty good now Garrett it is doable but that is a tough shot he's gonna have to shoot through two sets of pegs ah I wondered if he tried to hit and stick but no he cleared everything forcing play back to the middle Oh no, an unforced error out of McKenzie. Does the Super Steve and blows it all the way through the house. Nice takeout. Again, Garrett could be, let's see what he does here. He could be asking for, he got lucky with his shooter staying on or else he could have been in trouble there. We just talk about random stuff while playing, while we play Crokinole. Now it's starting to get a little busier. You got a couple buttons in the house. Let's see if. Me oh, tough one. I thought McKenzie was going for another uh, drift 20 there, or touch 20 off that red disc in the house. Nice. I think Garrett was trying to come in, but what he ended up with was pretty good because, anyway, you this is going to be a tough shot for McKenzie trying to. His al alternative would be to go through the middle, uh, but then he'd run the risk of maybe catching a bag and hitting his own. Whereas here, this is going to be—it's going to be a pretty, a pretty tight shot. Well, good for him. He's looking at his options. That's one great thing you can do is just check out your different options and see which shot is best for you. Garrett, always the gentleman, is even, even trying to help him look at his options. And uh, yeah, oh, tough one. See, that was such a, such a narrow miss to get past that peg and, and hit the red disc. So again, if Garrett. Oh, Probably he did not get the takeout, but he's but left McKenzie with an interesting shot here. Oh, tough one. Nice touch 20 for Garrett. And that was the end of the round. So there you go. Garrett had a 20 plus he had another 25 on the board. So he's up 6 to 0 at this point. And I'll tell you what, if you've watched uh, if you've watched uh, Crokinole Center footage and, and listened to Nathan Walsh usually, but Connor Ryman has also done some commentary, if you think it's easy, it is not. It is, uh, yeah, it's a little challenging to, to uh, yeah, to keep the commentary rolling through a match. So, uh, yeah, I'd absolutely recommend listening to the professionals on Crokinole Center do the uh, fantastic job on the commentary. There's Garrett, almost blew through, but he kept it just valid. Oh, we'll see if they follow. Mackenzie drops it. Yep, they did follow the host rule. We have a host rule. If you drop in a 20, 20 for your opponent, you have to put it in your 20 holder. Still counts for your opponent, but it's almost like, uh, yeah, it's almost like you have to look at that 
that t 20 you dropped for your opponent for the rest of that round and feel shame. So what's Garrett going to do here if he... I feel like he'd be better off to drop to the right side and not have to shoot over that center hole. But uh, he blasts it. When you blast it, you can get away with going over that center hole. But if you're trying to do a hit and stick, then sometimes uh, as you go over that center, you'll catch up and cause yourself some real challenges. So regardless, here we go. Garrett's got 120. Mackenzie's got one in the house. So Garrett will likely be going for a hit and stick here. Not sure if that's what he meant to do, but again, he's left McKenzie with a tough shot over on his side of the on his side of the pegs. Great takeout, force and play back to the middle. Oh, and that's why you force play back to the middle, because sometimes your opponent will leave you a hanger. That was a great shot by McKenzie. I would have loved to have seen him get the takeout there rather than leave Garrett Shooter on, but the most important thing there is the twenty. So, oh wow, going for the double takeout. But he's in deep now. Garrett with three discs on. McKenzie again almost had that successful double takeout. Just needed a little more mustard on his shot. Garrett now with four discs on. I think McKenzie needs uh, to pull something quite special out of this. Double takeout, but uh, yeah, they're tied in the 20 cup, and Garrett has a 10 and a 5, so Garrett takes yet another round. We're 8 nothing. Let's see if they remember to flip the cards here. Try to clear as many as you could with your staying on. But that's also really hard. When, even if so we are looking to do a little more of this. We're going to try to find some beginner matches to have on here as well as... Um, the boys and I are going to sit down and, and have some uh, doubles matches and some singles matches and get to, maybe McKenzie will do the commentary on those. We'll see how that goes. But just to get some more footage up there for you to see some different different scenarios. The other things we've talked about is having a couple more beginner style players sit down and and uh, say McKenzie would partner with me and another beginner level player would partner with, with Garrett or Nolan. And, and we kind of do some coaching and some guiding through that match just as more of a learning tool. But... Hopefully you'll see those matches in the in the weeks to come. But back to back to the action here. Garrett's got one in the host, but it's a nice setup for McKenzie. There's a 20 there for him. Oh, here we're getting interesting. It is possible if Garrett picks the right angle that he'll be able to, even with his in there. Interesting. Didn't get the 20, but he is in good shape with two on. Oh, that's a tough one. Now McKenzie's in the upper hand here. He's going to end up with three discs on. Nice. So yeah, Garrett's in deep here. We may see McKenzie pull out his uh, win this round. We'll see how it goes. Oh, Garrett almost had the double, but he was a little too straight on. McKenzie back to having three discs on. Garrett loses a shooter. That's tough. Nice. Mackenzie dropping that open 20. Clearly in command of this round now. And another 20 for Mackenzie. He is just pulling away on this one. I think Garrett was going for the double because he knew it was desperation. Yeah, Mackenzie has found his groove on those open 20s. It's three 20s for him in this round. The round is over with Mackenzie with three, three 20s. Garrett had uh, just a single disc on the board for five points. So, yeah, we're at 8-2. What they're doing, I guess I should have said this early on, they're doing a race to nine points. So, right now, Mackenzie's got his back to the wall. Even if they tie this round 1-1, the win will go to Garrett. But... Uh, most importantly, I think they're having a lot of fun, and I also think they may have come to a consensus on who is the best rapper in the game.
Jeremy. Garrett comes up a little short, so we'll see. Yeah, Mackenzie didn't try to, he's not trying to shoot over the center. He's uh, stepping around that for an easier takeout. Nice. A couple of bounces there, and not a bad spot to leave that disc. All right. Now, Mackenzie's in a tough spot. I don't know if he's going to try to go through his own, so hit the natural one into the red and drive that off, or... Yeah, I think I would have rather see him do that. We'll see how this works out for him here. I have no idea. Okay. So Jiu-Jitsu is like the only one that I've... Now we're starting to get a little bit crowded. Oh, Garrett goes for that double takeout. Doesn't quite get it, but he does push that uh, second one outside of the house. Oh, tough one. Mackenzie going for the touch 20 there. Just getting, didn't get the angle quite right. Lost his shooter. Jiu-Jitsu since, I don't know what age, but since he was very young. Now you're seeing Garrett really step into control here, unless unless Mackenzie can pull off a double. It's going to be a tough go. And now he's set up for a 20. We'll see if he can get drop a touch 20 over that little hanger there. Nice. Well in command now. Mackenzie needs to go for something big here now. Gets the takeout. He's got two on. So, if Garrett can, uh, if Garrett makes a mistake here, then Mackenzie's going to be in really good shape. He's got 30 points on the board. Garrett's got a 20 and a five on the board. So, he's technically winning the round at this point. But he's still Garrett's still in command. He just needs to get even one of those off, and he'll be in good shape. Someone technically less skilled than you could easily. Yeah, someone who's have technically a lower rank than you still has. Got the one off. Now, this is definitely a time I feel like Mackenzie should go through his own. Okay, he's going to go for an angle in here. That's not a bad choice either. Makes it pretty interesting. Nice. Yeah. He had drained that 20, but the risk here is now he set Garrett up for a 20. Wait for an official ruling, but I don't think. No, it did not touch the, the natural. So it was an invalid shot and comes off the board. Ooh, Garrett's still got another shot. Do I have cameras? So Garrett's got so. 20. Oh, wow. And I'm not sure if that's a 5 or a 10 over there. In the, Just he's got another 20. Wow, so he's up two 20s. Uh, I don't know. Well, I have to, that's 20. That's 30. Now they're having a conversation about the points that are left on the board. Now, you wouldn't see this in competitive play, but Garrett is having a conversation with him, help him do the math to figure out what he needs. And we do this a lot at home. We'll have a conversation and go, okay, this is what you need to get to tie the round or to win the round. Just do some, some quick math there. So uh, now I'm not sure what he, he needs to do a lot. I do know that. I think he'd need to need to get the red off and get a 20 in order to, in order to win this round. Um, if he gets up into the 15, he'd tie the round, but that's a tough shot. Oh, no. So close. See, Garrett's got two 20s, and, uh, and Mac is left with two 10s and a 15 on the board. So Garrett wins that by a nickel. Like they say, he just wins it, uh, wins it by five points.